Hi, this is Tim with rcnoob.com, and we're back with another unboxing video. Today, we are going to take a closer look at Newbright's RC Pro Warrior. Before we get into additional details, I do want to thank Newbright for sending this our way for a review. And um, if it's anything like the previous model that they sent us, which was the 110th scale track attack, um, we're in for a treat. I've really been excited to see the changes that have been happening in some of the toy grade RC vehicles, how they've been taking on more hobby grade characteristics and aspects. Um, you know, just from not even opening the box, you can see that this has a polycarbonate shell. Um, it's got body pins. It's powered by a 9.6 volt lithium ion battery. It is 1 16th scale, so it's a little bit smaller than the track attack that we had looked at earlier. Give you a little bit of a look at the box as we slide it around. Box art looks, you know, great. It catches your eye. You're definitely definitely going to see this when you're walking down the toy aisle. Uh, it has a pistol grip controller, and it does have a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency that it operates on. So you can run more than two of these at one time. When it comes to toy grade machines, I know, you know, having grown up with those in my younger years, earlier years, that was the biggest frustration for me uh, and even with my kids growing up it, the biggest frustration for them was you know I have three kids and only two of them could run their their vehicles at the same time you know because of the frequency overlap but now you know having toy grade vehicles going more with hobby grade components or more in the hobby grade uh, arena of things having that 2.4 gigahertz frequency is huge um, having the vehicles be faster that's huge you know it's 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 great to see these things kind of taking a middle range approach rather than an entry level or you know top end toy approach okay so with everything out of the package here's what you get you get the warrior 1 16th scale uh, RC Pro machine you get your 9.6 volt lithium ion battery you get your battery charger wall mount you get your two AA batteries, and then you get your uh, trigger grip style controller. Now, it appears to have, and I did see this on the box, proportional steering, so that should be um, something nice to have. It uh, is a it's a small controller. Again, I'm an adult. Uh, I'm guessing they geared this more towards kids, and I will definitely let my kids have a turn driving this if they can pry this controller away from me. Uh, but the, you know, the controller feels good. feels good in your hand. It's not too small, even for an adult. Um, but I really want to take a closer look at this vehicle, so let's shift things around here and take a look. So the Warrior itself looks awesome. I love the, the colors. I love the graphics. Um, just a real aggressive looking machine. It is very, very lightweight. It's incredibly lightweight, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll see how well it floats over grass and how it does on pavement and carpet and everything, every other kind of... Um, surface we can think of. We took the track attack out outside on the grass, in the pavement, uh, on carpet. It performed amazingly well on all of those and it was a very lightweight vehicle as well. I would venture a guess that this thing is even lighter. Um, I mean it's like it's featherweight light. It's impressively light. There are three body pins and th three body posts and body pins um, that are sticking through here. I've removed the pins already so we can take a closer look underneath this polycarbonate body. And we will swing that up. That's pretty cool. All right, and you see, you know, here's your chassis. Uh, really not much going on under the hood, but I really don't think you need much going on under the hood to be honest with you. Um, suspension, you know, there is no mechanical suspension. So we'll have to be a little careful when we go over jumps and things of that nature. Uh, there's a decent amount of just flex in the chassis itself. That should give it enough suspension and you know, enough you know, cushion when we go over jumps and things like that. I've seen other videos with folks that have been testing these the same model out. Uh, Rich from 2RC Productions comes to mind. He put his through uh, quite the torture test and it came out you know, doing tremendously well. So I'm going to take a cue from that that this thing can stand up to quite a bit of, of rough and tumble play and rough and tumble driving. Now they do have a tag on here that says do not drive on 
sand and tall grass. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, we don't really drive our vehicles in super tall grass anyway, at least our toy grade machines. I'll give you a look at this as I talk about it. Um, but we do like to, you know, push the boundaries a little bit and see what it can do. The tires are, um, they're surprisingly hard, uh, especially after looking at some other vehicles that I've been reviewing. Uh, these are surprisingly hard tires. They should hold up well, though. They do have a little bit of a tack feel to it. I'm really excited. This is, this is a really cool looking machine. I think we will definitely have to get the track attack back out and see how that compares to this machine as well. So we'll definitely have some running video for both this and the uh, track attack as well. That will wrap up our unboxing and overview of the RC Pro Warrior by Newbright. Again, this is a 1 16th scale toy grade RC vehicle and I'm really looking forward to trying it out. I know my kids are looking forward to trying it out. For more information on this vehicle as we continue to review it, be sure to visit rcnoob.com. There you'll find reviews, videos, uh, tips, tricks, you name it, on a number of other RC vehicles, both toy grade and hobby grade. And with that, I hope you like this video. If you do like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, this has been Tim with rcnoob.com. We will talk with you later.